Hey everyone, it's Sam Guy from Enterprise DNA. Today it's all about dashboard, a dashboard makeover. So I've created this report from one that I already had, a, and it was an existing one that you could actually download from the Enterprise DNA website. I just decided that, look, the current report I had could do with some improving, and so I decided to use exactly the same data, exactly the same calculations, and recreate something that just looks a lot more compelling in my view. Obviously, what reports look compelling versus um, not compelling is is a lot up to the consumer, um, but in my view, from what this was to what it is now, I think it just looks so much better, and I've implemented a number of things that I just want to go over. Um, this video is just to go over briefly what I've done here, but what I do plan to do is run a, a webinar uh, that will go through from start to finish all the different techniques that I used to, to actually build out this dashboard. So certainly watch out for that in the uh, in the coming days or, or, or week or so. Uh, watch out for the announcement um, and, it, and it will be very, very soon. I'll announce it on a number of different channels. So if you're somehow connected to Enterprise DNA, you will see uh, when the timing of that, um, of that workshop will occur. Okay, so the functionality. Oh, actually, let's have a look at what this dashboard used to look before. You might actually have already downloaded it. But this is what the dashboard looked before, multi-year performance analysis. So I thought, okay, well, this one has some good insight. It's got some good functionality. But I was just like, well, how can I, how can I make this a bit snappier? How can I make this pop a little bit more on the screen? Um, as, you, as you can see, I mean, the colors are quite dull, quite pale. I mean, it, 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 it definitely is okay and I, I'm not I'm not saying at all that um, you know this is this is this is this looks poor um, but I just thought hey I can make it look better so that's what I did and that's what I and that's what I think this um, this showcases one of the things that I've brought into my own report developing um, of late is actually darker backgrounds like I, I actually am a big big fan of darker backgrounds and the white coloring inside the charts I actually just think it makes your reports pop that much more now there are a few things you've got to be aware of when you actually use these, so I'll, I'll, I'll go through those in a second. But what, let's have a look at the functionality. So what we can do here uh, is we can drill into any time period, and I've, I've actually narrowed down, the, I've filtered this entire report page for 2016, but we can go into any time frame here, and we're viewing in, uh, results or current results uh, over this year, last year and the year before that and so we've used a cumulative total pattern to um, to look into that so you can see here well, it's the best way to identify trends i love cumulative totals um, especially when you're doing time comparison just to identify divergence in trends or the change in trends etc um, it's the best way to see it so we've got that and then we're looking at um, a different uh, you know, we're looking at similar data but just in a, um, in a different context in a monthly context and we're looking at the breakdown of the channels in which we sell sell through and we've got um, a breakdown of our channels here and what you can do is you can actually click into so that dynamic drill we can dynamically drill into our data um, very very easily just by clicking around um, and um, and the data model in the background does all the hard work there's probably a few interactions that I could improve here as well um, but uh, but for now that's okay and then I've got some I've also got some information here uh, I think it's probably actually some further improvement that can come here because you can see that um, and this is this highlights it exactly actually um, is that I've had to use arrows in here um, but obviously you know if it's down you know this is a hard-coded error so there's an improvement there for sure for sure um, but what did I do? What did I? What did I do that I th that I liked? What did I do that I changed up that I liked? Now the main thing was I put this really dark background, and then I put all these grids around the report. I really like grids. You know, they're all aligned so that the the user you know can really drill into a specific um, part of the report. All the titles are very detailed, um, stand out, so people know exactly what they're looking for. There's also um, functionality around. So I thought. Well, it's it's quite hard if you put if you put your uh, dimensions inside these slices. It's quite hard to actually know um, what you've actually selected. So what I've also done is I've used the the table to dynamically show me what I have and what I haven't selected. So I can jump in and out of any selection here that will change up the report. But then I always know what is actually selected. So I can come in here and select another customer, um, or I can get rid of a couple of customers here. 
and then you're going to know okay well this is the cust the subset of customers that we are currently selected on okay so i just wanted to show you some of the show this dashboard really so i spent a bit of time putting this together really trying to make it as compelling as possible and you no know, the key is just i wanted to show you well this is this is what you can make this is this is what you can do with the blank canvas that you have available to you in power bi i mean it, it's, it's unlimited i mean you can make just incredible dashboards that are totally automated the insights are totally automated um, and you know your your consumers are going to look at something like this if you can make it look something like this and think wow i mean this is incredible this is incredible not only in the insight i mean the insight is is, is obviously very very key that doesn't change if that doesn't change regardless of whatever look and feel your report has but you know if you can make it insightful and look amazing um, you're going to really capture people's attention and that is um, is totally possible with power bi okay so i'm going to round things off here um, don't um, certainly watch out for the webinar i'm going to run i'm going to i'm going to show you how i built this from scratch or i'm going to show you how i turned it from this um, this report into this report all the different techniques i used um, how I incorporated the colors, how I made sure that even with the dark backgrounds, you can still see everything clearly. You can still see the insights that you want. And then, hey, we might even make a few additional improvements if, if, if we can identify them on, on the course so, or on the, during the workshop. So watch out for that. Um, if you do actually want to download this, um, you can. Uh, just You can just go to enroll in Enterprise DNA TV resources. Just requires a small investment. Description in the detail, uh, detail below. All the link is in the description below. Um, if you like, if you like the dashboard, love, and you like the content on Enterprise DNA TV, um, or, always appreciate a like on the video. Um, and uh, also, if you want new content um, or fresh Power BI content every weekday, also don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay. Hopefully you got some good insight out of this one. Hopefully you can see some visualization techniques you can apply yourselves. Um, all the best with this one. I will speak to you soon.